like Matt Davis. Right now we've got Coach Morris oh. at the podium. Everybody All right. Ready to go when we start? All right, let me get my stuff organized here. But uh, glad to be back. Glad to uh, <clears throat> see everybody again. Um, it just uh, um, kind of a recap of, of uh, where we are and, and uh, kind of moving forward. But um, uh, came through last week with our open week, much needed open week. We had a, I had an opportunity to get get a few guys back. Um, and the guys that were, were banged up, as everybody is in the country right now, um, we're not the only ones. It's, it's all across the country. It's just that time of year. Um, and um, so you, you take advantage of an open week. You try to get your, get your legs back up underneath you for your, from your high rep guys and, um, and get some guys healthy. Um, and, uh, and we had an opportunity to do that. We had the absolute best week of practice we've had last week uh, since fall camp. Uh, very competitive, very very free, and, and, and very high-spirited practices. Um, a lot of competition going on. Had several fights out there. Uh, just uh, just a little bit of engaging with each other and, and uh, growing as a team, and that was really, really good to see. Um, I was very encouraged uh, and excited about the way our guys practiced. We went four straight days last week, Monday through Thursday, and, um, and, and we uh, – we had unbelievable energy and uh, great competitive drive all week. Um, and so uh, that was uh, uh, a, a huge positive. Um, and uh, to have uh, uh, leading into a weekend, they had an opportunity to have a few days off to go back home uh, and come back and report it back Sunday. And um, we had a, we're on the field again Sunday night. And um, yesterday was Academic Integrity Monday. And so everybody was able to take care of some uh, some academic um, study hall needs and, and anything that was going on. So there was no practice yesterday. We were back on the, the grass today for a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday practice, getting ready to, to game prep on Friday and travel to South Florida on Saturday um, against a very talented South Florida team. Uh, so what you do at this point, you kind of reflect. You reflect on the first half of the season um, and, and understand that, uh, um, you know, Previous success, previous um, learning opportunities uh, that we've had. Um, we've had five learning opportunities over the last uh, first half of the season, and and um, what you what you realize is is uh, the success you've had or the learning opportunities you've had over the previous does not indicate future. Doesn't have to indicate future, and um, you know so. Uh, uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and, and uh, expecting a different result. So we've changed up a few things. And, uh, again, it, it definitely paid off in practice last week. Um, also reflecting back, talking to our guys, you, uh, you talk about, uh, you know, the teams that have, um, that we've have gotten beaten by, um, have a combined record of 31 and 3. Um, there is uh, uh, four of those are undefeated. Um, and, and heavily ranked. Matter of fact, game day is going to be at one of them this week. Um, and so, uh, you know, we, we, we've, we've definitely um, had some learning opportunities against some of the top opponents in the country. So when you start putting into perspective like that, knowing that we were in all the games, every one of the games, um, and, uh, uh, and, and some of those we were in late in the game, very late in the game. And so uh, just uh, excited about uh, – um, you know, what, what we've accomplished to this point. Obviously, we're, we don't have the record that, that indicates, but this football team has, uh, has shown that they, they, can, they can battle and play with some of the top in the country. We've got to just find a way to finish four solid quarters. And, um, and so when you do that, you've got you've to have – your depth has really got to be a, a, a kick in and give you an opportunity to, to give you in it late in the game. And, and so we've worked hard on developing our young guys uh, over the first half of the season and, and really spent a lot of time last week on, on uh, developing a lot of the – you know, helping uh, – giving the red shirt guys um, some, some good reps. We've had uh, um, some, some good scrimmages last week with, with our red shirt guys and seeing how they compete. Um, and, and that's all we ask. And that's all we ask right now is our guys, we want to see you compete. 
and uh, for four solid quarters. So with that being said, we travel to South Florida um, and, and playing a very talented football team that's coming off uh, back-to-back wins, uh, one against Syracuse and and obviously last week a win at UConn, which was a huge win for, for their program. Um, we see another running quarterback, um, and uh, he's, done a, he's done an outstanding job of running the football. Um, and um, we've got uh, a defense that, uh, from a defensive line standpoint, is probably as good as we've seen all year long, very active. Um, they've got a, 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 a talented secondary. They, they, they start a true freshman in the secondary, which is uh, extremely talented. They got a lot of confidence in him, and he's playing really well. Um, and uh, back on the offense side of the ball, the running back is, uh, uh, is is doing a phenomenal job for him too. They got a great one-two punch. So, uh, with that being said, I'll kind of open it up, and and uh, we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, I, and I say that you're going to see some guys that. Uh, I mean, we, we've moved some guys around. And, uh, uh, you know, just trying to find that right combination. But more importantly, you know, I just want to see our guys compete. That, that's what I want to see. It's not necessarily, you know, as a coach, you sit here and you really talk about, uh, you know, the techniques in which you do things with. And I, right at this stage, I want to see our guys compete. I want to see us compete for four quarters. And let's see what happens at the end of four quarters. Um, you know, and, and, and if, if, our, if our competitive uh, – drive and and fight that we had in us uh, and energy that we brought to the practice field last week will carry over to this week and and through the second half of the season I told our guys hey look I don't care what the record is the first half I don't care what the stats are the first half everything starts over this is this is a second half let's see what we do we look up here in six weeks it's a six game season we look up here in six weeks and and let's see where we are and um, and, and 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 go from there but but everything starts over and uh, and that's kind of been our, our message. And and, um, and again, I, I'm 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 very proud of our guys. I, let, me, let me say that I, I'm extremely proud of the guys and how that they they show up every day and they show up ready to ready to battle and ready to compete and ready ready to play. And, and we as coaches have to show them how to do it. And uh, but uh, I, I was really proud of our guys and, and have been. Um, it just I, I want to see what'll happen. If you play for four quarters, that's what we want to see. Have you been able to put a finger as to why it was that last week was such a good week of practice? Like, why was the team so focused, had so much energy? Well, I, I just think that we challenged them. I think our staff did a great job of 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 saying, "Hey, look, we're, our culture is not going to change. If anything, our culture is going to get us through these rough times, and uh, we're not changing. Matter of fact, we're going we're going to turn it up even more." Um, and and we're going we're going to demand more, and and uh, we're going to we're going to show you guys that that this is just a sign of great things to come in this program. We, we talked to our seniors. Our seniors, you got you got six games left. You're going to leave your handprint on this program the final six weeks of this season. Now, what's it going to be about? Now, at the end of six weeks, and, and if 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 we're good enough, then 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 we'll move on into the next part of the season. Um, but. You can't play game six without playing the first game here. And you can't get to Saturday without competing today at practice on Tuesday. So let's just win today. I'll worry about Saturday to Saturday. Let's just wake up and win the day. If we do that, then we get to Saturday, then we'll, 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 we'll worry about that then. But uh, it's, it's about right now. And uh, really just kind of, you know, it, it was very informative. Our guys uh, – um, came out and, and they came out ready to go. They came out excited and um, we asked them the same thing. Um, I mean, what is it? You, you, we don't have a game or, or is there no stress or what? I mean, what is it? Because we want that. Whatever that was last week, that, that's what we want. That, that's, that's the standard. And, um, and so, you know, we'll be back on the field today, but, but I was very proud of our guys and, and, and they will. They, they just they need to be shown. Well, you know, we're going to get, uh, uh, and, and I say we're getting guys back. You know, guys that were gone for the year, we know that are gone for the year. Th those guys are gone. But, you know, I, I know Chris Weeks is, is a guy that's been playing uh, injured. And so it's given us a chance to get him back fully healthy. Evan Brown's another one. Um, and so, uh, you know, we've got some guys that, uh, um, that we were needed to get well. They were playing, but needed to get well and hope to get back to where they were early in the year. So that was more so that. 
Jack is good. You know, again, he was another one that's uh, uh, a guy that's been playing injured, um, but uh, or playing hurt, and, and he's he's had a chance to rest and and uh, and get back at it. So um, we're excited to see him over the second half of the season. He definitely brings a great leadership to us um, that we we desperately need. So, yeah. One. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. Um, I'll tell you this: if you watch those those red shirt guys and you watch those those freshman guys, um, the guys that uh, that that are that are being developed and coming on, um, you want to really you want to get a really uh, uh, a good kick out of, out of watching guys that don't know any better and just watch them celebrate. Um, watch them out there competing against each other. Um, and uh, competing offense against defense, and you know, uh, defense won the week last week. They won the week. Uh, they won. They won uh, out of four practices. They won three of the four. And so, uh, and some of those red shirt guys. I know the Scott twins were were leading the charge. Uh, they were the they, they they were the energy uh, managers. Um, and uh, man, they were they were they were cheerleading like none other. And so, what you're seeing is you're seeing a bunch of young guys that are. Man, they're having they're having fun out there showing how to bring the energy and how to compete every day in practice and just worrying about that one rep and that one segment of practice and somebody wins it somebody loses it and if their group won it they're the first ones on the field raising their helmets up high-fiving uh, and likewise with the offense when the offense wins their segment it's the same way you see the young guys really bringing the energy they don't know any better, and that's what we want. And so we really encourage those freshmen that, look, everybody feeds off of your youth. Everybody feeds off of your energy. Keep bringing it. <clears throat> yeah, I, you know, again, you, you've – we you know, were put in a situation right there late in the game where we had to throw the football quite a bit, and uh, um, you know we've it's it's not that these guys haven't played; they have played. It's just uh, um, you know I know I know D. Joe made a few plays, um, one in particular right there in the middle of the field off of a off of a uh, a scramble that Matt threw up, and he was he, he did a great job with that. Um, it was good to see more guys get involved with it. Um, and targeting some other guys, and uh, and that's what it's going to take. It's just going to take more guys, just just keeping coming along and, and growing your offense. We're probably, I know Coach Craddock will probably address this more, but we're probably, you know, at one point in time we thought we would get to 60% of our offense in. We're probably at 30% right now, and and may not grow much more at this stage until we can continue to develop the depth. It, it really it really comes into doing what you do. You, you got to get good at, at something, and so that's what we, you know, we're really focusing on that. And our guys have done a good job of that. Well, and I know Coach Craddock would would uh, probably back me on this, but I, I think, uh, and um, you know, obviously Coach Craddock's done a, a really, really good job with him and all the quarterbacks and, and showing them what we expect and and what our standard is. But I think the thing you see with Matt is is he's as fierce of a competitor as I've ever been around. He, when he walks off the field, he walks off completely. He, he's laid it all on the line, everything, and. Um, you know, and I think you watch his play and you see that. And sometimes that gets him in trouble. His biggest his biggest asset is is is, is his competitive drive, um, and it's also his biggest deficit because it gets him in trouble at times because he holds the ball a little long. And so, um, but we wouldn't we we wouldn't have the success offensively we've had without without Matt and and his just his competitive drive and and his just be a, a fierce com, you know just loves to compete. And we got several in that room. Um, several. Ben Hicks is another one. It is, I mean, he's you don't you don't see it because you don't see him play. We see him in practice every day. That guy is is hates to lose anything, any drill, anything. He hates to lose, and so I think that again, going back to what we talked about with the young guys, that rubs off on some of the older guys. And so when you have that combination in that room, um, you. 
you know, you, you just want that to kind of bleed over into the rest of the, the group. And, and I think it did a little bit last week. Again, we, I mean, we had them out there and we were getting after it in practice and, and we loved every bit of it. It was, it was really good. Um, but uh, I think I've seen Mac definitely grow and, and um, it's, it's because of the attention to details that Coach Craddock demands of those guys. Well, yeah, I think you, the biggest thing I would say is is you've played the number two team in the country, the number three team in the country, the number five team in the country, um, and, uh, and 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 James Madison, and and uh, and you your your combined record that against the teams that have have beaten us is thirty one and three, and you've been in every ball game. I mean, that tells you you're close, and. Uh, but you got to keep the close to isn't good enough, and you know we got to continue to push forward. So there are, but there's positives you build. I mean, again, this is the one in eleven football team from last year, and and you know I don't know how many won they won the year before that, but you know this is a football team that we they don't know how to win. They don't, and so for the first time something goes wrong, they wait for the other shoe to drop, and so you know that's well, I, I could tell you the exact series that it happened to Houston. You know, and, and we had great meetings at halftime, unbelievable meetings. I mean, we were we, – three turnovers, and we're only down seven points. We gave them 14 points. And, um, I mean, we, we, we should have been well up at halftime of that game. Um, and so you come in at halftime and, and great meetings. Hey, we're in this thing. Here we go. And the moment something goes bad, bang, bang, the defense comes out and gets a stop. Offense, we can't convert on a fourth down, and that was my choice to go for it on fourth down. I wanted to generate some energy. Um, and they go score, and at that point right there, I told the coaches on the, st on the headsets, hey, look, th this is the point we got to rally. We got to be positive. Here it is. And so I may burn all three timeouts the moment I sense it this week, and it may be the second series of the game. I mean, I'm not going to let it happen. And so if you see back to back to back timeouts, just hey, there it is. He told us. So I mean, we're we're going to address it right then and there. We've talked about it. Our guys know it. We're we're at that point right there. If we have to square up and get one on one right there on the sideline and compete against each other, you know, the one thing I do know is this: we're zero and five against SMU. That's what I do know. And if we'll just compete and we'll just keep battling and stay the course, everything's going to be. We're going to get where we need to be. Um, and our guys have proven that because they showed up last week with the drive and the energy they had. Um, and, and, they, and they fed off of the coaches that brought it as well. And, and our